ใครคะไอคือไอพาดสองคุณครูยังไม่รู้เลยอโปค่ะอโปใช่ไหมโอเคค่ะเดี๋ยวนะคะก่อนเราจะเริ่มเรียนกันนะคะครูจะเช็คชื่อเลยนะคะถ้าใครมาพูดว่าอะไรลูกภาษาอังกฤษว่าอะไรคะมาค่ะไม่ใช่ภาษาอังกฤษเออถ้าไม่มาล่ะไม่มาพูดว่าอะไรแอปอะไรลูกแอมเดแอมลาไม่ใช่แอมลาอะไรล่ะถ้าไม่มาคือแอปเซนใช่ไหมถ้าเกิดมาพูดว่าอะไรแอปเซนไม่มาถ้าเกิดมาพูดว่าอะไรเทอะไรลูกอุมลาไม่ใช่เรสเซนของขวัญเหรอคะเพสซินเข้าใจไหมคะผมลืมแล้วครับออฟพูดใหม่ครับอยากฟังอธิบายใหม่หน่อยครับผมลืมแล้วครับคุณครูจะเรียกจะขานชื่อในตอนไลฟ์สดเลยนะคะถ้านักเรียนเข้าเรียนนะคะอย่างสมมติว่าครูเรียกว่าโจฮันหนูก็จะพูดว่าถ้าเกิดโจฮันเข้าเรียนนะคะโจฮันก็จะพูดว่า present ถ้าโจฮันไม่ได้เข้าเรียนจะพูดว่า absent โอเคไหมคะแล้วจะพูดทําไมอะครับถ้าไม่เข้าเรียนก็คือไม่มาแล้วอะตอบทำไมก็พูดก็พูดให้เพื่อนฟังไงครับ are you ready เดี๋ยวครูพูดใหม่หน่อยมาพูดว่าอะไรนะครับมาถ้าใครจอย your class นะคะก็พูดว่า Present ถ้าคนไม่มาพูดว่า absent นะคะ absent เหรอคะครูโอเคเวลาเจอกันนะคะครูจะครูจะนับ absent absent อะไรวะ present absent present present โอเคนะคะพร้อมหรือยัง absent ผู้ที่เชิญเรคคอร์ดแต่ว่า respect good afternoon good afternoon student Hello guys, welcome to my m i n c a p Let's see. Listen, listen. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's go check your student name, Johan. Absent. Who? Present. Okay, I. Absent. Tan tan. Tan tan. Absent. Right. ครูครับ I เข้าซูมไม่ได้ครับ Okay. Leon. Absent. Okay. Pause. Absent. Pam. Absent. จอมพงไม่มาแต่พูดได้งงแอคเซปมังนะไม่รู้พูดฉลามฉลามโอเคแอคเซนพูพูดยังไงพอได้ขอสงว่าแตกแหลกพูเพรสเซนออแอคเซนเอเซนคือมามาแอนเซนคืออะไรนะโอเคเอเซนคู่ yes yes ดีเจดีเจดีเจแอบเซนบอสแอบเซนเชนเชนเชนแอบเซนไอดีนเอซนโอเคปุ้มเอเซนโอเคบูบูต้องพูดอะไรบูบูบูแอบเซนไรอิงอิงอิงอิงอิง
เอฟเซนน้ำหนึ่งน้ำหนึ่งเอฟเซนน้ำหนึ่งเพรสเซนเอฟเซนบอกไม่มาแต่พูดได้เพรเพรสเซนแป้งแป้งเอฟเซนโมบายโมบายพูดว่านะคะครูเพรสเซนเพรสเซนโอเคเต็มฟ้าเต็มฟ้าแอบเซนเข้าหอมเพชรเซนข้าสอรี่สอรี่ขวัญข้าวขวัญข้าวคูคาแป้งก่อนไม่ใช่เหรอขวัญข้าวแอบเซนข้าวหอมเพรสเซนไรท์ yes จัสมินเพรสเซน p l a s i n good apple apple good yeah 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 absent nania nania absent right eye absent ชอบเอื้อง p l a s i n p l a s i n good นี้นี้ Absent. Can it? Super duper. Absent. Nisha. Absent. Grape. Absent. Milk. Milk. Absent. Nudi. Nudi. Absent. Okay. Let's start, teacher. Okay. Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to another class. Today we're doing some communication. Yes, and we're first looking at one unit we already do. That is unit number seven. Being sick, being sick. I want to do one from the previous semester to make sure that we remember some of the words we used. Okay, but just quickly to go through again. Uh, we have six words here. The first one is headache. Oh, I have a headache. Next one is stomach ache. Oh, my stomach is sore. Next one is medicine. We drink to feel good. We go to the hospital if we are very sick. And if we fall or we have an accident, can happen and we need to go to the nurse or to the hospital. So who can tell me which picture shows a headache? Where is the headache? Number one, headache. Who can show me? Where is the headache? Number one, yes, this lady here. Let me draw a circle around her. I'll use red. This one is for the headache. Very good for the headache. Number two, the stomach ache. If your stomach is sore, your belly, your tummy, your stomach. I have stomach ache. Which one has stomach ache? Very good, Jasmine. Very good, she has stomach ache over here. What about medicine? Where do we see medicine? Where do we see medicine? Hmm. Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Draw a circle around medicine. I can draw. There we go, there we go. You can draw. You are white on. Can you not draw? There's medicine. Number four, hospital. Where is the hospital? Where is the hospital? Yes, very good. The hospital is here at the back. The big building. The big building at the back. An accident. Where is an accident happening? Who can show me? Hmm. Ah, very good, very good, you guys. Here is the accident. This student is falling on the ground. And the last one is the nurse. Where is the nurse? Who can find it? Who can find it? Very good, Jasmine, very good. Well done. Good job, good job. That is 
Let me make sure we have all of them correct. Tam 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 tam. Good job, everyone. We have all of them correct. So if we have to move on now to the next page, we have to listen to what they say. So we have to use our ears and listen, and then we have to use the mouth to speak and tell me what is the answer. I'm going to disable drawing on the board because I want you to speak and to use your words. So let us let us see. Are you guys ready to listen? Are we ready? Yes, I am. Are we ready? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, students seem a bit slow. Let's see, let's see. Put your ears together. We know what. So I will read the left and the answer you must read as the students on the right. Let's listen to it one more time to make sure we understand and make sure we know what they are saying. So let's listen to it one more time. Okay, so number one, what's wrong? Now you read the answer to me. Okay. I have a very bad headache. Headache. Oh, Jenny should drink some medicine. Very good, very good. I have a very bad headache. Number two, you don't look so good. Um I don't feel so don't well. So well. I don't feel so well. Yes, very good. And the last one, you should stay home today. Okay, I okay, guess I you are right. Still right. Yes, very good. Good job. Thank you guys for reading. You guys have very good pronunciation. It makes me very happy. Okay, if you go on to the next one, let's first see. Do we have the correct answer? Of course we do. Good job, good job. So now we'll have to circle the answer. Um, for this one, you will have to tell me what the answer is and I will circle it. So are we ready? Yes, yes. we are. Okay, yes. there you go, there you go. Oh, where's my pen now? <laughs> Bro, why I can hear? Do you hear? I don't hear it. You guys not hear the sound? Let's try again. Yes, now? I hey. hear it now. Listen and circle the word or phrase you hear. One. My cousin is a nurse. Two. I don't feel well because I have a headache. Three. You should stay at home today. 
Okay, one more time, quickly, one more time. Oh, uh, I know now. I know now. Wait a, hey, minute, wait a minute. Listen and circle the word or phrase you hear. One. My cousin is a nurse. Two. I don't feel well because I have a headache. Three. You should stay at home today. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Answer number one. Nurse, headache. At home. So, so first, read the whole sentence, please. <laughs> My cousin is a nurse. Is a nurse. He's a nurse. Very good. Very good. We can I all don't read feel together. well because I have his age. Again, please, all together. I don't feel well because so I have his age. Together, together. All of us. We want all of us to go together here. And the last one, number three. You should, you should stay, stay at, at home, home today. today. Yes, very good. Yes. Excellent job, guys. Good. good job, good job. You should stay at home today. But lucky for you guys, you are already at home. You don't have to go anywhere. Let's make sure our answer is correct here. Yes, good job, good job. All the answers are correct. Let's move on to the next one. Still having to use our ears to listen and our mouth to speak. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Mm -hmm. B. Listen. Write the letter that matches the picture. A. The boy had an accident on his skateboard. B. Ben has a bad headache today. C. She needs medicine for her stomach ache. D. The nurse is taking care of the sick child. Okay, one more time, one more time, all together. Let's listen carefully. Let's listen carefully. Oops, that's the answer. I already know the answer. Yes, but some before of us you... might need to listen twice. So let's give them opportunity. But you show the answer. B. Listen. Write the letter that matches the picture. A. The boy had an accident on his skateboard. B. Ben has a bad headache today. C. She needs medicine for her stomach ache. D. The nurse is taking care of the sick child. Okay, okay, everyone. Number A, what does the story tell us? Two. It's picture two. two. Yes, but um, what did the, the story boy do? had an accident on the skateboard. Excellent, excellent. The boy had an accident on his skateboard. Good job, good job. What about number B? B is a sick boy. Sick boy. Uh, all of them look sick to me. All of them look sick to me. Is number B for picture one, picture three, or picture four? four. Picture four. Picture four, yes. Good job. Can, do we know what is the answer? To the story, what's wrong with the boy? The is, boy is head is the boy had a head is yeah right good job. the boy has a head is his head is failing for number C which picture a uh, three 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 okay okay three. What did the story tell us? The girl needs the medicine. Yes, she needs the medicine. But what is wrong with her? Stomach ache. She has a stomach ache. Excellent job. Good job. Yes. 
she needs medicine for her stomach ache. Very good, boy. Very good, guys. Sounds very good so far. What about number D? Can anyone tell me the story for number D? The nurse the take nurse. care of the child. The nurse is taking care of the child. Why? Because the child is sick. Because the child is sick. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Let's see if we have the right answers. Let me just see if we have all the right answers. Tum, 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 tum. Hey. 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 Good job. Good job. Let's go. Let's go to the next one. Oh, for number C. So here we have two words next to each other, mm -hmm. and we have three rows of two words. So we have six words, and we have to choose three. So let's listen carefully and see if we can hear the word and where it should go. Okay, are we ready? Yes. No. Not ready. How much time do you need? Uh, uh, okay. 100 yeah. 100 yeah. By that time, teacher already dead. You know, then you can't give class over 100 years. So let's quickly be ready and quickly listen to what the story tells us. C. Listen and fill in the blanks. What's wrong? Are you okay? I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. You should take some medicine. Ask the teacher for some. Okay, one more time, one more time, everyone. Listen carefully. C. Listen and fill in the blanks. What's wrong? Are you okay? I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. You should take some medicine. Ask the teacher for some. Okay. Let's see for number A, who can read the full sentence? Who can read the full sentence with the answer? What, what, what wrong? Are you okay? What's wrong? Are you okay? All together, all together, yeah, let's read. What's wrong? What? What? What's wrong? Are you okay? Very good, very good. Let me just change the sign and make the... Say, so what's wrong? Are you okay? Number B, can you read number B, please? I don't feel I don't well. Feel I have, well. I have a uh, stomach ache. Stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. All together, I want more students, more of you to read with us all together here. Number B, I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. Come all together, let's read. I don't, I don't feel, feel well. well. I, I have, have a stomach ache. Okay, that's a little bit extra. Yeah. Good job so far, guys. Good job. What about number C? Oh, sorry, number A again at the bottom. Can you read the sentence there, please? Huh? You, number. The last one, you sorry. Should. Yes. You should, you should take, take uh, some, some medicine. medicine. Ask the uh, teacher, for, teacher some for some. Good. You should take some medicine. You should take some medicine. Ask your teacher for some. Okay, one more time. All together. All together. The last one. Let's read all together. You should. You you should take some medicine. Ask the teacher for some. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see if we are correct. Let's see if we did it correctly. Tum, tum, tum. 
Good job. All of them are correct so far. Well done. Well done. I would like to have some more students to join us in the reading. So maybe the next one we can all read together. This one is a little bit more difficult. So we'll have to use our ears yeah, super and try difficult. and remember. Okay. We'll listen to it two times. So let's see. Let's see. Are we ready? Yes, we are. I hope so. Hey, listen and write notes. What's wrong, Brandon? Why aren't you exercising with your team? I don't feel well today, so I want to be alone. My neck really hurts. What happened? I had an accident on my bicycle. Did you go to the hospital after the accident? No, I felt fine then. You should call your mom. She will take care of you. Okay, one more time, one more time, you guys. Here we go. A. Listen and write notes. What's wrong, Brandon? Why aren't you exercising with your team? I don't feel well today, so I want to be alone. My neck really hurts. What happened? I had an accident on my bicycle. Did you go to the hospital after the accident? No, I felt fine then. You should call your mom. She will take care of you. Okay, the first one. Let's see, Brandon, doesn't feel- I don't feel well. Doesn't feel well. Are we sure? Yes. I heard doesn't feel good. Well. Well. Well, feel yes, well. yes. Don't always listen to teacher. Teacher will trick you. Okay, Remember. so I not listen to you now. No, you can listen to me, but when it comes to answer, be careful. I might try and trick you a little bit. To make sure if you understand. So the next one. Does it head or neck hurts? A uh, neck. His neck. You can okay. even see in the picture he's holding his neck and he is in a lot of pain. So that yes. is correct. His neck hurts. What about the next one? I had an accident on a bike. On a bike? Was it a motorbike? Bicycle. Ah, oh, you had an accident on a bicycle. Make, make sure. Had an accident. Accident. Bicycle. Had an accident on his bicycle. And the last one? Yes, you so, should call your mom. Oh, yeah. She would help you. Yes, call your mom because she will take care of you. Should call your mom. She will take care of you. Okay, so let's quickly read from the top all together. Don't feel well. Let's read, let's read quickly. Don't feel well. Yes, that's one. Don't feel well. Okay, the next one, read the next one. Mm. Neck, neck hurts. hurts. Neck hurts. Okay, number three, let's read number three all together here. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <coughs> Accident on his bicycle. Okay, which one do we choose? Do we choose A or N? For number three, yeah. Do we choose A or N? Which one do we choose? Um, A. N. We have to choose N. Excellent. We have to choose N. Why? Because the next word starts with a vowel you see here the a so if it's an a we use an okay very good jasmine well done well done 
And can we all please read the last one together? Choose can. Choose can your mom. Yes. She will take care. Take take off for you. Take care of you. You should call your mom. She will take care of you. Let's see if we have them correct. Some sort of some 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 some. Good job, everyone. We have all of them correct. We even gave some extra words. Well done, well done. Okay, we don't have a lot of time left. I think there's one or two more slides. So let's quickly see if we can finish nice and strong all together here. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to read all of them. We have to use our ears again to listen and our mouth to answer. Okay. So let's go, let's go. Only a couple more to go, then we are finished. Here we go, everyone. B. Listen again and answer the questions. What's wrong, Brandon? Why aren't you exercising with your team? I don't feel well today, so I want to be alone. My neck really hurts. What happened? I had an accident on my bicycle. Did you go to the hospital after the accident? No, I felt fine then. You should call your mom. She will take care of you. Okay, let me quickly read the question and then we listened to it last time. So the first question, what's wrong with Brandon? Question number two, how does the girl know something is wrong with Brandon? And number three, who can take care of Brandon? So let's listen to it one more time, then we answer. B. Listen again and answer the questions. What's wrong, Brandon? Why aren't you exercising with your team? I don't feel well today, so I want to be alone. My neck really hurts. What happened? I had an accident on my bicycle. Did you go to the hospital after the accident? No, I felt fine then. You should call your mom. She will take care of you. Okay, very good guys, very good guys. Now let's see if we remember the answer. Number one, what's wrong with Brandon? Who can tell me, who can his, tell me? His neck hurts. His neck hurts. Excellent, excellent. Where's everyone else? Why are we so quiet? Only Jasmine answering. His neck hurts. Very good. What about number two? How does the girl know something is wrong with Brandon? Which one? Which one? Come on, can you answer? All together. Which one? A, B, C, or D? B. B. E. He isn't exercising. Okay. Okay. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see. Let's see. The last one. Who can take care of Brandon? His mother. His mother. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Yeah, excellent. Let's see if we have all of them correct. Uh, I think we might have one not correct. Let's see. B. Listen again. Oh, listen already. oh yes. He isn't exercising. And D, his mother, and C, his neck hurts. So all of them we have correct. Good job, everyone. Good job. So one more, let's see. I think we, we don't have time for one more. Our time is catching up with us. 
So I think we're going to finish off here today. Um, let's quickly go and do a recap. Let's do a recap. Can anyone tell me what did we talk about today? <clears throat> what did we talk about today? Today we talk about what? Student. I'm listening. Come mm. post, tell us, come post, tell us. What did we talk about today? Student. Mm. We only have a few minutes. If we don't answer the question, we cannot play rock, paper, scissors and the time will catch us. We won't have time to play. So what did we talk about today? Who can tell me? Talk about wheat. Did we talk about being healthy? No. We talk about being healthy. Be healthy. No, not yeah. healthy. The opposite, being what? Uh, <laughs> six, being sick. Yes, good <laughs> job. We talk about being sick. And we use some words like a doctor, a nurse, a headache or stomach <laughs> ache, medicine, all words that we can use when we talk about being sick. Okay, so those, that's why we do the vocabulary know where we can use all these words okay so if you guys are ready you can turn on your camera so let's do some rock paper scissor uh, we have two minutes left so let's see if we can be nice and fast student turn on your camera who's going to beat the teacher today who's the lucky winner yes are you ready can i join of course you can yes. join and anyone can join Everyone is welcome. Okay, are we guys ready? Ready. Yes. I am ready. Okay, here we go. Ready. ready. One, two, One, two three. three. Shoot. Yay. Did oh. I win? Did I win? Who won? And teacher, who won? Only two of you guys won. The rest is a draw. Leon, what do you have? Scissor. The rest is a draw. Pro, pro like W. Good job. Yay. And to teach a Chicken pool. nugget. Good job. Good job. Thank you guys teacher, for coming. I oh, always like beat. chicken nugget. You guys. Banana. Yes. Good job. Really well done. Really well done. Thank you guys for coming today. And also thank you for participating and reading with me and having some fun. I hope you Let's guys bro. have a very good like day. Like chicken nugget. Like chicken nugget. <laughs> and I'll speak to you again tomorrow she get morning. Nugget, she get have nugget, a she get nugget, she get nugget. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Sayonara. 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 Sayonara.